Huawei has just given their Pro tablet a major upgrade. And in an exclusive hands-on event, we've had the chance to try this out just before its release. So in this video, I'm gonna run you through the biggest improvements on the new Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2. One of the most obvious upgrades on the MatePad Pro is its design. As you can also tell by its name, the tablet now packs a 13.2 inch display, giving it almost a 5% increase on its display size. But remarkably, Huawei still managed to keep this at about the same size as its predecessor, making this one of the thinnest and lightest in this bracket of Pro tablets. In fact, despite the increase in display size, the tablet got even thinner and lighter. And how they managed to do this is by making the bezels incredibly thin. The bezels are uniformly slim on all sides while the top side has a tiny notch for the front-facing camera. At its center is the new flexible display which to clarify doesn't mean that this can be folded but it actually refers to the screen being flexible having the ability to adapt its colors and brightness to its ambient locations. As what we can expect from a pro tablet, this is a very sharp and vibrant screen. So pretty much anything you'd be doing on this, whether it's for work, creative applications, or media consumption, would be enjoyable on this device. Personally, in terms of design, this has to be one of the nicest looking tablets in the market right now. But the MatePad Pro 13.2 will also be coming in this new mint green color, which is a refreshing take on these more serious pro devices. Moving on from the design, the magnetic keyboard has also gotten a major upgrade from its predecessor. The new design now features a stiffer build quality for a more stable typing experience with the biggest game-changing feature, the new integrated trackpad. With this, the whole device now feels more like a laptop having a large surface area for navigating with a mouse pointer or doing gestures just like how we would use our laptops. This has been a much-awaited feature on tablet keyboards for me that isn't made by Apple. I just find it disturbing that whenever I'm in the middle of typing something, having the need to tap on something whenever I need to point at something just feels unnecessary. With the inclusion of the trackpad, we now have the option to keep our hands on the keyboard, allowing for a more relaxed experience. To add to that, the keyboard has also been improved. In a side-by-side -side comparison with the laptop, the MateBook 14, I can say the typing experience on both devices felt very similar. This is in terms of key spacing and resistance. Also, if you've noticed, unlike other tablets which require the tablet to occupy a portion of the lid to use as a stand, Huawei now managed to include an adjustable kickstand at the back, freeing up space for a trackpad while also allowing its users to have the freedom to adjust the display angle to their desired position. But it doesn't quite end there. The magnetic keyboard now also works even when separated from the tablet. So the tablet doesn't need to be physically connected to the keyboard for it to be functional. Along with the new magnetic keyboard, Huawei is also launching their third generation of their M Pencil. And what's new here is this is now using what they call near link technology. Compared to the more common stylus pencils which use Bluetooth connectivity for pairing, Nearlink is 60 times more power efficient. In real-world use, this will actually drain less power from the tablet when it's charging, allowing for a longer battery life of the MatePad and the M Pencil. According to Huawei, this new version is 6 times faster and more pressure sensitive as compared to other competing stylus pencils. And to test this, I visited the Huawei concept store to try out their older version of their M Pencil just after I've experienced this new version. And true to what they claim, I have noticed a subtle improvement on its latency and responsiveness. I wouldn't go as far as to say that it's a big leap forward, but if you're an artist, this may be something that could really benefit your work. Moving on to the software side, the MatePad Pro 13.2 has also gotten some quality of life improvements. For one, multi-window feature now has more size adjustment configurations. As compared to previous versions where it is limited to just a few size options, this can now be adjusted similarly to our Windows-based PCs. There's also the inclusion of Huawei's Super Hub, which allows seamless file sharing between connected devices just by dragging files to a section of the device. 
fast charging speeds isn't something we commonly see on tablets. But Huawei has now packed 88 watt fast charging on the new MatePad Pro, which is said to charge the device in only 65 minutes. That's actually very fast considering that this tablet has a battery capacity of 10,100 milliamp hours. And also, we have reviewed the previous generation of the Huawei MatePad Pro, the MatePad Pro 12.6, and since then, I have considered that to have one of the best sounding speakers in any tablet that I have experienced, having a four speaker setup with Dolby Audio. The MatePad Pro 13.2 now has a whopping six speaker setup. To be fair, I really can't judge its sound quality just with the short period that we've experienced the device. But from our test, it did sound pretty promising. In conclusion, I would consider these upgrades to be substantial across various aspects. The design overhaul, the larger display, and its software. Plus, most importantly, the upgrades on the magnetic keyboard and the M pencil. But I think the best part that Huawei is doing here is that they are selling this as a bundle with the magnetic keyboard, the M pencil, and a lot more with just the cost of the tablet. Which really makes this a compelling device if you're a working professional or an artist. And if you happen to fall into that category, I definitely recommend you also checking this out. Anyway, what do you guys think about the new Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. We always enjoy reading through your comments. Once again, this has been Andre from Taclocal. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video.